everybody. We're going to do it before class starts. I wanted to do a quick how to video. I want to explain to you what all you need to be doing for class. You probably already have this done. You should already have this done. But if you're having issues, I kind of wanted to walk you through it really quick before class starts. So I am going to share with you. I've got my email. I got the email that came for class. I want to share that email with you. So here's the email that came. It might have come to your spam folder. Could have came to your spam folder. Maybe uh, came to your inbox. Maybe you missed it. But it's right here. See here the HSEU. That's from the support email. HSEU. Um, Safe plan H2S clear. PC H2S clear. It's got the course information. H2S time, date, uh, instructor name, my name. My phone number, my email address. And then it's got some important stuff we need to do before class. See, complete before class. You even got an exclamation point. First thing we need to do is create a free account on PEC Veriforce. PEC Veriforce, the exact same thing. We just need to create a free account here so that that is where we're going to be taking our test. And they track all of our training for us. This is how we're going to get our certification for today. So you can see here we got the link right here, the Veriforce One link, or you can say right here, click here to create your account. And there's a, another link here if you need help, which is what I'm trying to do right now. Create your free PC account. Let's go there really quick. So when I click that link, it pops up another window, which I want to share this window with you. And here we go. So this is the link that pops up. You can see here, sign in or sign up. Well, I'm signing up. I want to create my account. So what I'm going to do is put in my email. Support at the hseu.com. I've already got an account, so I'm going to have them create an account. So I'm going to click the sign up, and it's going to send them an email. So I click sign up, and it sends the verification link. So now we're going to wait. So I'm going to go to my email and check my email. So you can see this right here pops up. You'll get this email, complete your registration. So I'm going to click this link to complete registration, and it's going to take me to another web page. And now I want to share that screen with you, and it's going to ask me to create a password. I'm just going to create a password, use strong password. I don't want to use their password, so I'll definitely forget it. So now then I click right here. It's going to say use strong password, or I'm going to choose my own password. And then I click next. Save. I agree. Now that's going to ask me, do you have a PEC ID number? You may have one if you've taken this class before, but if you've never taken a PEC class, you probably don't have one. So I'm going to go ahead and click no, I do not have a PEC ID number. Then they'll ask if you're employed, yes or no. You can put whatever you want in here. Typically, this right here is for companies who paid for your card and they want the name of their company on their card. Like for example, if Halliburton paid for me to take this class, they might want Halliburton on the card. So I would put yes and put in Halliburton. But I can go ahead and put no. This is gonna ask me for my information. So well, they're not gonna let me be on today so uh, all right one two three four all right complete registration now it's going to have me sign in with that account of the create the account I created. So I used my email. And I'm going to sign in. I want to save it. No. Before we leave, you want to no, I don't I do want to link it, so I'm going to link it. I'm going to register student, click return home. All 
Okay, so whenever it was giving me that issue about return home, so you're logged in, I clicked the help button, then I clicked sign out, and then I just signed right back in and it came right here to my account. But it took me a while to figure out myself. So I clicked that help button right there below there. I can't get back to it now. Um, and then I clicked the sign out button. Then I just signed back in at the PEC website. I uh, just took me right there. And now I'm logged in and here it is. It has my name. This is my new PEC ID number. Remember earlier when it asked me, do you have a PEC ID number? I do now. That is my unique number. If I give that to anybody, they can look at my training. They can actually verify I took this class today. No training has been associated. Contact information, it's got all that stuff, my training history. Now, I want to get my training. So I'm going to go to e-learning. And it's going to ask me for a course key. I do not have a course key yet. These will actually be emailed to you in the beginning of class. I will take role. I will verify that your camera is working. You have to be on camera all day. Your microphone is working. And then I will send you that uh, course key. When you do input that course key, it'll pop up right below here in the My Courses section, SafeLand or PECH2S, whichever class you're taking. And it'll have a little play button right over here. I will click play and my test will pop up in a new tab right here and I will take my test. And that is how you create your account.